Hi, I'm Robin. And in today's video, I have five amazing high-end dupes to show you that will save you hundreds of dollars. For my first DIY, I'm going to be recreating this end table that I saw on the Pier 1 website. Using my scroll saw, I cut down some 2x4s and then I sanded them. Then, I used this paper pad of corks that was really pretty and this Waverly Antique Wax and I applied the wax onto the side of the wood and then I put on the picture of the cork and it kind of looked like a little book. Once that was done, I used my wood burning tool to burn in lines all along the sides of the block to make it look like pages. And here's how it's turning out so far. I did this project on a live stream and if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description box below. Once I had all of my faux books made, I went to Dollarama and I picked up a glass plate. I stacked up all of my books the way I wanted them and then put the plate on top. And I made myself a cute candle holder. Here's how it turned out and I think it looks amazing. How about you? How close do you think I got to this piece? Let me know in the comment section below. At Williams Sonoma, I saw these chinoiserie ceramic coasters and I thought, hey, I can make that. So using soft drink lids and some thin ribbon, I attached the ribbon with hot glue all around the outside rim of the lid. And I made sure to go around twice so it was kind of thick. And here's how it looks so far. Next, I took some gold deco art paint and a glue stick and I painted all of the ribbon, making sure to give two coats of paint. Next, I took a piece of cardboard that I had on hand and I traced one of the soda lids to get a template. I made several and I cut them out and then I applied paper on the top and on the bottom of the cardboard and I made sure that it would fit inside my little lid. The chinoise coasters are made of high fired porcelain and hand painted with a cobalt blue and white motif. So using blue deco art paint, I proceeded to paint in a pattern very similar to what I saw online on the Williams Sonoma website. And I ended up making four of these coasters. Next, using printer paper and scissors, I cut the paper and then using hot glue, I glued it to the soda lid to make a container. This is going to be my coaster holder. I cut some slits in the front and then I cut across the middle. So you'd be able to see the coasters inside the holder. Once that was done, I applied more ribbon to the top rim of the holder and then I painted it gold. Once that was done, I tried to paint the pattern once again all around the holder so it would match the coasters. Here's my little coaster and I'm 
adding it to the soda lid just with some hot glue and then I push down. Now I'm adding the coasters to the holder. It fit my four coasters and I could have fit even more. I think it looks exactly like the high-end decor. I'm participating in the five under five dollar DIY challenge hosted by Missy over at Crafty Cove and Emily at Farm Charm Chic. This month's co-host is Christine at DIY Craftaholic. Check out the description box for the playlist and also their links. For my next DIY, I checked out the Kirkland's website and I found this natural acacia wood octagon tray. So using some cardboard that I had on hand and my ruler, I cut off the sides of the cardboard box because I was going to use them as the sides of the tray. Then using some shelf liner paper that was wood color, I added it on to where I had made the pattern to fit the triangles. And here's how it looks so far. Then I covered the side pieces with more of the wood shelf liner. And once that was attached, I used my X-Acto knife to cut it out. After sanding, I put on some of the Waverly Antique Wax into the grooves of the wood look paper so it looked more like grain. I also saw on the Kirkland's website this vase set and I decided to try the middle vase. So using two flower pots that I got at Dollarama, I glued them together and then I added Mod Pot and on top of that, I put yellow and white paint mixed together. Once the paint was dry, I added some clay and I cut it up into little rectangles and glued it on with hot glue. I was trying to do a pattern, but I was having a bit of a difficulty here because I was trying to get it to go in a diagonal direction. But some of the rectangles weren't quite adding up. So I flipped it over and tried to do it on that side too. And it kind of looked like a grenade. Then I took bright yellow paint and I painted the top rim and also at the bottom rim as well. And I took white paint and I painted all of the rectangles. Then using an X-Acto knife, I made some slits in the top to put flowers. And here's my vase. Here's how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. I saw this bird wall decor on Wayfair and I thought, hey, I can make that with my scroll saw. So I made a pattern and then using carbon paper, I put it on a board. Then I used my scroller's drill to make some holes in the wood. And I used my scroll saw to cut out the pattern. Once the pattern was completely cut out, including around the outside, I used sandpaper to smooth out any parts of the wood that had little wispy bits sticking out. Then I took black deco art paint that I got from Dollarama and I painted the whole thing black. And here's how it turned out. I think it looks amazing and a lot like the original. Today I've shown you how easy it is to recreate five elevated looked high-end decor items. And I did it 
for paying practically nothing for each project and saving hundreds of dollars. These high-end decor dupes will make your home look trendy and original. Which one's your favorite? I think mine is the candle holder, but I really like the coasters too. If you want to learn how to make a beautiful sunflower rug, click on the next video.